polynomial functions day two, you've done this before, and so this shouldn't be too bad. This is the type of problems you're going to be doing today. We're going to be finding, in this particular example, so I have this polynomial and we say w of x. This is not times x, this is w of x. This is the function's name is w, the input value is x. The polynomial is negative 2x to the third plus 3x minus 12. We want to find a w of 5, which means we're going to do what with the 5? Plug it in for x and then simplify. Then we'll get an answer. Then we do the same thing for negative 4. Plug it in and we'll get a different answer in all likelihood. Okay? So, um, here's the setup for the first one. W of 5. Go ahead and plug that in and let's see what you get. This is really two separate problems. You have W of 5. That's one problem you're going to do. We're going to do all the work here and we'll see, see the answer. Then we have a second problem, w of negative 4. We'll do the same thing. And your homework kind of looks like this. So that's why, why I set up this example that way. Here's what I like to do. Whenever I'm substituting in for the variable, I like to put that number in its own set of parentheses. Just to be sure that I'm going to be able to more easily follow the order of operations. One of the common mistakes that happens here, what do you think the common mistake is that happens here? Jack, what do you think? Uh, people multiply and then they get to by a person. Correct. We don't do multiplication before we do powers or exponents. So we actually have to take 5 to the third first, then multiply it by negative 2. So what is 5 to the third? 125 times negative 2 and gives me negative 250. That's 15. Still have my mind 12. Okay. So again, this is 125 times negative 2, then I just add these together. So this ends up giving me negative 247. How many had that? Very good. All right, do the same thing for f of negative 4. See what you get there. I need, again, like I said, I like to put what I'm plugging in in its own set of parentheses. What's interesting in this case, negative 4 to the third gives me negative 64. Okay. So negative 64 times negative 2 is going to give me positive 128. So now my answer is going to end up being a positive instead of a negative. So this plus 3 times negative 4 gives me negative 12. And so 128 minus 12 minus 12 is just 104. That one was a little trickier. I want you to be careful with your powers and negative numbers multiplying by a negative. That's where you maybe had an issue. If you take a negative number to an odd power, you will always get another negative number. So for those of you that got positive 64 here and then got negative 128, that's where you would have made your mistake. For your reference on a quiz or test, showing me all those steps is going to be really important because if you just mess up one little sign and otherwise you get it, I'm going to give you most of the points. We have one other type of problem that we need to look at related to this function. And sometimes, and in, in your homework, you're going to have something like this. You're going to have problems where you're not just plugging a number in. So when I'm looking for w of a squared, okay, what I'm really doing here is now I'm plugging a squared in for the x's. So your final answer is going to have a's in it. So go ahead and plug that one in, plug your a squareds in for x and see what you get out of that. Here's the plug, oops, okay. When I have a situation like this, power to a power, okay, that's when you're multiplying. Powers in the sky, you multiply, okay. So be careful on that. I'm not going to get like a final answer like we did with the other ones, like 16 or something. It's negative 2 Okay, so when I, so I'm going to multiply those powers, that gives me negative 2a to the sixth. 3 times a squared is just 3a squared, okay? And I can't combine these together. Addition, in order to add or subtract terms together, you have to have the same power raised to the same variable. And I don't have that, so I'm actually done. That's as far as we can go. Okay, so that's uh, what w of a squared is. And actually, let's see if I can do this. Uh, 
the suitcase. Let's go like this. Nope. Uh, let's try it. Nope. I'm going to do this just for you. There you go. So that's really my final answer. W of a squared equals negative 2a to the 6 plus 3a squared minus 12.